Hey folks, Pat here from DNS. This Madison Area Fishing Report is current as of October 7th. Before we get started, just wanted to point everybody towards uh, Dane County uh, website at the Dane County Sheriff's Office site uh, towards their ICE ordinance information um, here in Dane County. They require uh, ATVs to have floats on them on Lake Mendota, M Monona, and Wingra. Uh, there's a website here where you can view the ordinance, learn more about what's acceptable um, for flotation devices. They got some photos here, uh, some specs that you can look up if you're looking to make your own floats for your ATV. But I bring this up uh, mostly because I get, uh, I've been getting a, quite a few calls here at the shop for folks looking to purchase ATV floats. Um, problem is the company that made them for Gene is out of business. Um, and the nebulous packs that you see here on this ATV um, that company is also out of business. So currently I am not aware of anybody that's selling ATV floats commercially. So if anybody out there is interested in making ATV floats and selling them, uh, they can uh, comment down below or call here to the shop. Uh, maybe you know we can set something up uh, where I sell them here at the shop or maybe um, you know, as, even if I just had somewhere that I could point people towards, somebody to put in touch, get people in touch with, because uh, not everybody's handy enough to make their own ATV floats. Um, so anyway, just wanted to let folks know um, we are working on that here at the shop. So uh, anyway, um, I guess moving on to the reports. Uh, oh, and I guess a um, little bit of shop news. Uh, we did get a shipment of salmon and steelhead uh, stuff in. So I've got some seven and eight weight fly rods. I got uh, some salmon and uh, steelhead uh, style flies in and uh, lines to match the rods, tippet, everything you need uh, to get started for salmon and steelhead fishing. And I guess we'll be talking about that a little bit later here in the report, but um, just wanted to let everybody know we got some of that stuff in. Um, we had a pretty dry week uh, this week, uh, cool evenings, but beautiful days, uh, nice, nice warm days. Uh, look, it's pretty chilly today and tomorrow, but uh, next week looks like the temps are coming back up into the high 60s. So uh, still lots of great opportunities to get out there and uh, do some fishing. Um, the Mendota buoy out here was uh, re reading 62.2 degrees this morning. That is over one degree cooler than it was just yesterday afternoon. So uh, these cool nights really do drop the lake temps down pretty significantly. Um, I'd say generally fishing on the chain has been good and getting better with these cooler temps we've been having lately. Uh, most fish are starting to move shallow uh, around the chain uh, and generally the bite seems to be better in the afternoons and evenings once the water gets a little bit of chance to warm up. Um, I guess a little more detail up here uh, up on Cherokee. Been hearing about uh, the weeds are starting to die back up here so access is getting a little bit better. Uh, it's still a weedy mess don't get me wrong but um, some folks have been fishing up there doing well with largemouth bass and still a ton of pike up there uh, down to 113 bridge the catfish bite continues to improve down there been hearing about some nice cats coming out of there but also some walleyes and uh, occasional perch too and oh and some crappies too so nice mixed bag as usual down here at the 113 bridge out on uh, Monona, or Mendota proper uh, the perch bite around the lake has been um, pretty consistent, but the fish are running on the small side. Most of the fish that they're catching are along the weed edges all around the lake. Um, but you got to sort through a lot of small fish to find uh, some keepers, but there are keepers mixed in. Uh, also mixed in with those perch are some nice bluegills that have kind of started migrating off of the mid lake humps in towards shallow water. So uh, all around the lake, if you're looking for panfish, I would start on the weed lines. If you don't find them there, try just inside the weeds. Uh, but I've even been hearing about fish uh, perch in particular out to as deep as 20 feet. So um, plenty of panfish in Mendota right now, which is a, of course a good sign for the future. Um, bass have been moving shallow. Uh, so I've been hearing about uh, some nice smallmouth action around Maple Bluff, Governor's Island, Fox Bluff, uh, Picnic Point. Shallow areas have been uh, holding uh, some active largemouth bass. So that's uh, nice to see that kind of picking back up. Um, walleye bite is still good on the mid lake humps. So second point, Dunn's bar, Commodore Brearley bars over here have all been good. Um, but I've also been hearing about fish moving up shallow. So the university shoreline down here, uh, I've been hearing about fish coming off there. Also, uh, Tenney park, uh, break wall and Warner park break walls have been, uh, 
I've been hearing about some walleyes coming out of there. Um, the bite down to Tenney Park behind the spillway continues to be slow, uh, but the bite in the Tenney Park Lagoon is good if you're looking for some tiny bluegills, looking to keep a kid busy, or uh, some nice largemouth bass uh, cruising around in there still. Uh, down on Monona, the um, mouth of the Yahar River, uh, I haven't. I guess I haven't heard much out of there lately, but while I should be kind of stacking up there pretty soon, um, we'll have. I've, or I've been hearing about uh, perch and bluegills still being caught on the weed lines all around the lake, and particularly on the Monona side uh, of Lake Monona. Um, otherwise, like I mentioned last week, the, the bluegills seem to have pretty much moved out of the deep water, and they're all moving in shallow. I've um, been hearing about some good action down to the Monona Terrace Wall, out from the wall here, and then also the Triangles and Brittingham Bay action has been picking up. Also hearing about fish out from Olin Park, and down in Turvel and Squaw Bays down here. Um, haven't heard much out of Lake Wingra uh, for musky action. Uh, tons of small panfish in there. A little bit of bass action I've heard coming out of there. All the great musky action uh, continues to be on Lake Monona. Uh, that action has been heating up and will likely continue to heat up. Um, a lot of fish being caught shallow and um, a lot of folks coming through the shop picking up our 12 and 14 inch suckers we have on hand. So um, yeah, that nice to see that action picking up. Uh, moving down the chain on uh, Upper Mud, been hearing about some good panfish action coming out of the dredge hole. Good largemouth bass action in the shallow flats around uh, Mud Lake. Uh, haven't heard much, I guess, out of Lake Farm specifically, um, but I have heard about some good panfish action uh, all around the lake, generally on the weed lines. Uh, I, I guess I've been hearing maybe a little bit better action down on the south end of the lake, but a lot of good bluegills and some nice perch mixed in. Uh, with those fish. Uh, the musky action also on Lake Wabisa continues to be um, improving every day and it's, it's been uh, really, um, it's been a, a great fall so far and it's just going to get better. Uh, haven't heard much about walleyes lately specifically, but good at locations to check are Hog Island over here and um, in front of Babcock and down along the south uh, east shoreline. Uh, also, I haven't heard much out of Kiganza. Uh, been pretty quiet the last month or so uh, from what I hear, but uh, if you're fishing down there, uh, the weed lines are a great place to start for perch and bluegills. Uh, I, I have heard about a, a, a huge population of uh, yellow bass, but they're all small, four or five inches in there right now, but a huge yellow bass population that um, could explain why you know some of the walleyes and pike and that are not super hungry because they've got plenty of food to eat. Uh, but if I were fishing walleyes, I'd start out from the state park uh, over here, the point over here can be good, but um, just been pretty quiet as far as reports all around the shop go. Uh, also pretty quiet out of Lake Kashkani. I know they're still getting some fish trolling out in front of the mouth of the Rock River, but other than that, I haven't really heard much coming out of there. Uh, Fort Atkinson and Jefferson areas have uh, continued to have a good catfish bite. I've also heard uh, just yesterday about a good white bass bite in Fort and then up to the Jefferson Dam. So all through there, the white bass are running if that's your thing. Um, but yeah, some good catfish action up here too at the Jefferson Dam. Um, let's see, where else are we here? Uh, Beaver Dam, haven't heard much out of Beaver Dam lately. Uh, over to the river um, the, at the Prairie du Sac Dam, been hearing about uh, you know continued action picking up there with uh, walleyes stacking up behind the dam. Sturgeon's still up there, uh, some good catfish action. Um, and a, a little bit of white bass up there. Um, down river's been uh, good for smallmouth. Um, but the real action that's been heating up down here has been for the toothy critters, the, the pike and the muskies. Uh, that action's uh, been picking up as those fish prepare for winter. Uh, up on Lake Wisconsin, haven't heard much specifically. I, I guess I have heard about some panfish starting to move in shallow up here to the grade and some of the other bays. Um, otherwise, um, trolling out on the main lake uh, with flicker shads and, and other crankbaits <clears throat> has been pretty productive. Uh, good action from Portage up to the Dells um, for smallmouth and pike and the other river species uh, that live in there. Uh, heard about a little bit of uh, action picking up here at the uh, Wisconsin Dells Dam for some walleye and also some white bass uh, moving in there. So that's uh, always an option. We got uh, the dams up at Castle Rock and Pettenwell, same deal as Prairie du Sac. Nice mixed bag, catfish, walleye, sturgeon in there. 
been hearing about uh, the walleye action picking up as the lakes start to clear on Castle Rock and Petwell. Um, sounds like that uh, action, even during the midday, has been getting better. And also been hearing about um, some good panfish action closer to shore near rocks and and, um, and wood and stuff like that. Uh, over to the river, uh, Mississippi River. Um, sounds like the panfish action is really hot over there right now. A lot of fish being caught on the weed lines. Uh, good uh, perch bite out there. Uh, the walleye bite also uh, continues to pick up with the dropping temps. So uh, fall is a great time to be out there on the river fishing. Um, over to Milwaukee, uh, the action is really starting to heat up over here. I've been hearing about fish being caught in the Milwaukee River, um, actually all the rivers up and down um, in the east coast over here. But um, some kings are pushing in uh, with some cohos, even a couple pink salmon have been moving into the Milwaukee River that I've heard. And um, that action's just gonna improve. If we could get some rain, that'll bring those water levels up and then you'll get a big push of fish that'll come up there. I uh, haven't heard anything about brown trout or steelhead being caught yet, but those fish will be right behind all the salmon that are pushing up. Green Bay action continues to be good for uh, you know trophy um, walleye out there. And I also have heard um, about a really great uh, white bass run right now on Lake Winnebago. So in the Oshkosh area uh, <clears throat> over here, um, heard about some really great uh, white bass action coming out of there. I guess that's uh, about it for warm water species. Uh, trout fishing, is, the clock is ticking here. We have just a few more days, I guess uh, a week and a day. So next Saturday, the 15th is when the season closes. Uh, fishing around the area has been great. Uh, water clarity is great. Uh, the fish are still looking up eating hoppers, although the hoppers are gonna have a tough time making it through tomorrow night. I think they're talking lows in the low 30s, but um, those fish will still eat hoppers, but I would definitely, especially this time of year with the cool temps, I would be looking, if you're fishing in the mornings when it's still cool, I'd be fishing blue-winged olives. Uh, and then in the afternoons, uh, that hopper bite's going to slow down. And I'd look to maybe uh, go back to the olives or try uh, caddis. Too. I've seen some caddis coming off and heard about some folks having some success with caddis in the evenings. Uh, but the hopper bite will continue uh, to be good, should be good through next week, but uh, those hoppers are going to have a tough time making it through these cold temps. Uh, I guess that's it for the fishing report. Um, post your comments and catches below. Uh, feel free to call the shop if you want any more information about anything we've discussed here. And um, otherwise, yeah, get out there and enjoy the trout fishing while it lasts. Enjoy the nice temperatures while it lasts. Next week, uh, but like I said, temps in the upper 60s should be good uh, for fishing, but those temps aren't going to last because ice is right around the corner. Um, thanks for tuning in and we will talk next week. Take care. Good luck.